What's up guys, it's Fallen Ryu here and I'm one of the newest commentators on YouTube. You know, starting off my channel, trying to grow it out, you know, during the Call of Duty Go season. So, I mean, you know, let's start off with a with a video, a strategy video. Alright, so who doesn't like having a great KD, you know, like those 4.0 KDs, you know, making you look so fucking badass in the lobbies and stuff like that. Well, I have some strategies on how to keep, or just how to start off with a great KD in Call of Duty Go. So... Key number one is, I mean, first of all, you start off as a level one and you don't have a lot of options in your default classes. You probably have an assault rifle, a, a submachine gun, and then a shotgun. And the great thing about having this default class is that you have some options and some sneak peeks at some great weapons you may even fall in love with in the future. So, um, my strategy is using the honey badger which is the starting default assault rifle in you know the default class this gun has an attached silencer to it making you invisible in the radar which i think is amazing to start off just for the simple fact that i mean you're getting you're barely getting used to the game you don't know any routes i mean i mean you're shit out of luck put it that way so using a silencer is essential especially if you're starting off just because you're hidden from the radar and you have more ch better chances of taking out opponents without their um, their own allies, you know, paying attention and stuff like that. So that's one using the honey badger. Number two, I'm not saying this, guys, just because I find it fun or anything like that. But I'm not saying a camp. I'm just saying hold down a position. There's a huge difference between holding down a position and camping. Camping is using one vantage vintage point. And you're aiming down that site the whole time, just waiting for someone to to cross or just walk down your um, crosshairs, and holding down a position, you know that's pretty much just going side to side, checking the corridors, aiming down the vintage point, and just trying to you know hose down people. For example, a pretty good example of this in Black Ops Two, since we're all pretty much used to it, was drone. When you spawn on one side or any side. The snipers would usually go down to the middle and try to hose down people. That's what I'm trying to say with the assault rifle. For especially since I mean snipers are really limited here in this game, they don't have as ma as many advantages as they did in Black Ops Two. So assault rifles, I mean assault rifles, uh, hold down a position, you know, guard the door, or just watch the vantage point. The vantage point, get the best vantage points as you can. And just try to shoot people from long ranges, especially if, you know since Call of Duty is a huge map. I mean, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts has a many, many, many large maps. Nothing compared to what we'd ever seen in any Call of Duty before. So it's really essential. To I mean, if you want to have a great KD, to hold down a position, don't go rushing, especially when you have, when you have a default class, because I mean you're. Put it this way, you're shit out of luck if you're starting off with a default class and you're rushing. Because first of all, you don't have quick draw, which is essential if you want to have a great KD. Essential, quick draw. You need to have stalker. Stalker is the most important, you know, just perk in the game maybe. Because as we all know, adjustable stock in Black Ops 2 was really, really key in any assault rifle for the simple fact that you aim faster. Not aim faster, you're aiming and you can move faster while you're aiming down the site. Which, you know, when, when you're using an assault rifle, you don't have a lot of mobility while aiming down the sight. So, Stalker is really, really essential, guys. It's a must if you're trying to have a great KD. And, you know, there's a lot of perks out there. And I would try to use Hardline 2 to start off. Because, I mean, you start off with some pretty simple, you know, score streaks. The SATCOM, the, your dog Riley, and then you have some assault helicopter or something like that. You want to have hardline because you're trying to get that satcom really quick, which is a, which is a UAV that, as we all know, isn't a UAV which is floating around in the air. You actually just deploy it on the ground, so it's a pretty good UAV that you know shows your enemy's positions every like five seconds. So that's pretty good. It's faster than the average UAV from Black Ops here or any of the old Call Duties. So. That's pretty essential to see where your targets are at and if you have a great chance and and if there's like five people in one position, don't try to go freaking rocky rocky. What what am I thinking? Don't try to go ramble on them and try to take everybody down because the odds are you're gonna get taken down. And 
that's not a great way to start off your match. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that leads me to my third point, guys. Play smart. Don't be stupid. If you see two people camping in a room, don't try to be a hero. Don't try anything stupid. Play the safe side. Try to stay there, aim down the side, try to take one down, and then maybe, if you feel confident, go in there and try to take the other person out. To me, I'm a really competitive guy. I love competitive gaming. Every um, I fell in love with League Play and Black Ops 2. I'm really depressed they didn't bring that back to Call of Duty Ghosts because, I mean, after a while, you do get kind of bored of Call of Duty. I hope that's not the case with Ghosts because if it is, I'm going to kill myself. No, I'm just kidding. I'll just go play Battlefield 4. So, you know, competitive gaming is just part of my life, part of my Call of Duty life. And, you know, I'm just trying to do everything possible to have a high KD. Please, guys, don't call me a tryhard. I mean, if there's something more important than, than gaming, I'm going to do it. I'm, you know, currently in high school. I'm a, I'm a senior, so I'm graduating this year. I got accepted at San Francisco State University. And I'm a pending, or awaiting, actually, uh, 13 other um, CSUs, CSUs, which are California State University, uh, results. And I'm just applying to my UCs right now. I'm really hoping I get into UC Davis. So that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please help my channel out. You know, barely growing. I'm growing pretty fast, but not not at the you know the pace I want to. But I mean, a lot of the things we want we can't you get because life's a bitch. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, guys, and appreciate it. Thanks.